I didn't graduate until 2017, but I finished to go play basketball in Europe in 2002. Well, my first two years, I went to Latvia, right next to Russia, man. So I played one year in France. After France, I went to Moscow for two years. I played in Moscow, which is a very beautiful city. After Moscow, I went to Rome. After Rome, I ended up going back to Moscow for a year. I went to Istanbul for four years, man, which is Istanbul, another beautiful city, man. So, and then after that, I ended up finishing in Latvia, the same team I started for. Why did I guitar? Man, I just wanted to be with my kids, man. I think it was, um, it was just getting harder and harder, me, harder for me to leave each year, man. So, I just really, I mean, I just, it just came a time where I was just tired of missing my kids and just, it was that time where I think my son needed me, needed me to be at home at the time, so. And I, was, I wasn't having fun. I wasn't having fun with the game anymore, so. I told myself when, um, when I stopped having fun, I mean, I didn't want to just be out there just to be running around, you know. It's crazy, I was just gonna come home and just kinda, just see what I had and then I, my, I, my intention was not to be a coach. I didn't think about being a coach or a trainer. It just, I, I think I retired and then I just started training my son. He wanted to learn how to play basketball. So I said, you know what? And then my daughter, she was growing up at the time. So I started training her and then one of their friends came and after that I just, you know, I just told myself, I was having so much fun with just, you know, teaching kids. I said, you know what, let me, See, if I could start a, a starter academy out here, I mean, I like teaching kids. I feel like I got the experience, all the experiences that I got overseas, you know, I feel like I can teach the kids. So I just, just went from that. I started from one kid, and now I just got a whole academy, man. I just feel like this is the way I played. I always just played with passion, felt like I loved the game, you know. Uh, I just want to teach kids how to, you know, love the game and, and, and show people you love the game. Just not, don't just play just, uh, you want to just play for points, you just want to play for this and that. But, I mean, when you when people look on the court, you want them to be able to see like, ah, that kid loves the game. You know, it's not about scoring points, it's not about how many rebounds you got, just loving the game and just, you know, playing for the fun of the game. So, I just think the passion, man, I just I just love the game of basketball and blessed to be able to teach, teach the kids. I'd like to thank the uh, coaches, uh, Coach Hoffman, Coach Robert Davenport, Coach Spencer Wright. Uh, they brought me in and kind of just molded me, you know, kept my head strong. It was good to just be noticed and, and remembered just from the, the things I did, the things that me and the team did those two years I was there, man. I mean, it was a great experience, man. I mean, I can't, I can't say enough. I mean, it was great. I had a great time, great organization. Everything was great, man. So. I'm just blessed, blessed to be able to, you know, be in the Hall of Fame at UTRGV. You know, I would always see Chris King, and he would always just get at me just for, you know, coming back to finish up. I just always, you know, I, I needed like three classes, but I was just always like, ah, right, you know, I don't need, I don't need to graduate because I already went over here and made money, blah, blah, blah. And then I just finally went back, man, and, and, and graduated. And I'm glad I did, man. It's like one of the best decisions I made, man, to be able to just, it didn't matter like how old I was, it just felt good to just, you know, graduate from going to school so long. Everything I did, I think I wouldn't have did it no other way, man. It's just, it was good for me to go to a smaller uh, Division I college just because I think if I went to a bigger di Division I college, I wouldn't have probably played the same way I played here. So I think everything, the way everything panned out, I think it was just, I mean, it was just a blessing for me. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have did it any other way, man.